Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make sure your phone stays connected to the best Wi-Fi network. Now, if you have multiple routers at home or work, you already know how frustrating Android can be about switching from one network to another. As a matter of fact, it won't even switch to a different router until the network you're connected to has no signal left. So having multiple access points doesn't really help much in real world usage. There's some apps out there that'll let you set preferred Wi-Fi networks, and this helps a little, but you still run into the issue of Android not disconnecting in a timely manner. Or you can try giving each of your routers the same SSID, but that doesn't really fix the signal strength problem. So with all this in mind, the Cloudy development team created an app that lets you set preferred networks and choose how far away from one router you're willing to go before it switches to the next one. It works with routers and repeaters just the same, and it doesn't matter if your networks are 5 GHz, 2.4, or a mix of both. The app itself is called Wi-Fi Switcher, and it's available for free on the Google Play Store. So search it by name to get it installed, or use the link in step 1 in my full tutorial. Now when you first launch the app, you'll have to grant an additional permission if you're running Android Marshmallow or higher. This is because 6.0 has a bug that won't let apps scan for Wi-Fi networks without the location permission. So tap allow on this message. And by the way, the app doesn't actually pull your location or check it at all for that matter. So you don't have to worry about battery impact here. But after you've done that, the app will scan for nearby Wi-Fi networks. If it doesn't, just pull down to refresh. Now the rest of this is pretty simple. Just look through the list and find all the networks that you want to connect to. As you're doing that, just tick the boxes next to the preferred option because these are the only networks that the app will connect to automatically. Then, once you've selected all of your preferred networks, tap the three dot menu button in the top right corner, then go to settings. From here, you can set the signal strength where the app will start looking for a better network. In other words, you can set it to one or two bars and when you get that far away from the first router, that's when you'll switch over to the next one. Beyond that, you can have it ask before it switches networks, and you can opt to display the full SSID if your router names are really long. But with everything set up, you're good to go. From now on, your phone will automatically switch to the best router when you're moving away from another one, and it'll even make sure that mobile data stays off while it's making the transition. So it's a great way to improve signal strength, and it's almost indispensable if you have multiple routers. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetX.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.